Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. This uh, video I am going to do an unboxing. Now I purchased these off of Amazon a month ago. <laughs> Just gonna put it that way. I had ordered um, a couple of things. One coloring book, a set of pan pastels and these oil pencils. If you can't tell it says oil pencils all over the box. And, um, you know, because of what's going on in the world, uh, the coloring book came in yesterday. These came in today and the pan pastels due to technical issues is what they had said will not be shipped. Now I don't know where they were shipping from, but I thought they were a United States based, uh, company because I usually buy everything, uh, unless I'm buying Karen Dash items which do come from across the uh, water. So I don't know about the pan pastels. I know they're not coming so I have to find a place that is a little more, I don't know, local and or shipping here. I'm in Washington State in the U.S. so I mean it's not like it would take that long if they were in a ship from say Japan or something or even China for that matter. Sorry I have to have a cup of sip of tea. It's been one of those days. The other thing I was waiting for <laughs> got delivered also, but um, that was a household item. <laughs> Our uh, microwave had uh, expired, so I had to order a microwave because I wasn't going to go up to a store and find it. So we had ordered one and it came this was supposed to be delivered at eight o'clock this morning, but didn't come until one o'clock big thrill huh anyway so I'm going to open these we'll show you what the uh, packaging looks like um, it does say made in China they're called South Sun 160 oil pencils they are for adult coloring it says right there adult coloring book uh, sketching painting oil pastels this is a um, flimsy kind of paper covering there's a little plastic handle because the pencils are in a plastic case. Now on the description of these and the, on of the other reasons, if I can speak, that I wanted to purchase them as I had seen them on a video. A uh, gal was coloring with them. Have no idea. Cannot find the video. So I can't tell you who it was. But she didn't list it in the description box. I just had to uh, wait until she actually showed the pencil and I got the name off of it, went to Amazon and uh, searched for them. And it's a description of these are, it's a wide range of vibrant colors. Each premium colored pencil set comprises of 160 assorted colors, especially including 12 metallic colors, which will long which have long lasting pigments. All colors blend quite well, perfect for adult coloring books, doodling artists, and sessions of relaxation and coloring or as a gift for drawing lovers. Okay. Now in the top description box, it does say that these are a set of artist painting oil based pencils for school drawing sketching art supplies. So that kind of gives you a hint that they may not be, you know, the top quality like you would with your polychromos or anything, but they are oil based and I wanted to try them out. The set that I have in front of me cost a whole whopping $34.99 with free shipping. Now, I'm not going to say that it's going to get to you really fast because this took a month to get to me, but that's also because of what's going on. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you what the pencils look like. I may not be able to do this right next to the camera. Handle has to go down and then the paper will slide off. Okay. The um, paper sleeve is the same front and back except for we're obviously not in English on this side. Okay. This is the plastic box that they come in. This is the front of the plastic box they come in and it's got some snaps on it. 
and then the uh, pencils come out in these little plastic, very flimsy trays. But you will notice there are a lot of pencils. So we have one, two, three, four, five trays. We also have in the back here a do-it-yourself color chart. So they give you one in your book, in your package here, so you could color it in and put the um, color name or number. I don't know. I haven't looked at them yet. On there, of course, I won't be doing that. So we're going to pull out oh this nice pretty color here. And well, let's look at them. Okay, we have a name here, Brute Funner, <laughs> number 74. And that's the only thing on here. Um, we are a wood cased pencil. This is nice, it's uh, nice and centered, it's pretty thin. We're gonna get out a piece of uh, regular copy paper for my printer. And we are going to color just a little bit with this. It's not sharpened. Ooh, that's pretty. Then we're going to sharpen it. Rule of thumb for me is I always like to sharpen my pencils because sometimes they come to you with a coating on them and you'll get two different colors from them. Okay. So that's what we got on this. Those are nice colors. I'm going to get out a um, polychromo. I don't know, I think I have them sitting here on my desk. Let's see. I don't have a clue what that color would be in, in this set, but I'm going to take a kind of darker red here. We'll just sneak one of these out. Put that case over here. This is a medium or middle cab DM red. So we'll put that down. Kind of put this right next to it. I mean, obviously they're not the same color, but they're close. And then you can see what they look like. Do, do, do. This one here is the polychromo, and here is the other one. <laughs> it's a decent uh, color laid down. What I wanted to show you is the thickness of the um, pencils here. So the polychromo is thicker. The lead, well, let's drop them. The lead is also, you know, thicker in there because these are a high, higher quality. Um, we're both round. Um, I've probably used this one a couple times, so they're the same, you know, basic length. Um, Paint-wise, they're both really smooth on the outside. The names are going to take a little while for me to get used to, and you're open-ended here and covered on this one. But the one reason, I'm going to try this other color that may be a little tiny darker than the one I was using. Let's see. Yeah, that's a better color to match that, I think. Still a little red. But I mean, they lay down really nice. So what I'm going to do is uh, color swatch these puppies. I'm not going to do it on camera because... Well, there's 160 of them, and that would take me forever. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, take my time and color squat swatch these up, and then I will come back and show you what they look like and kind of do a little bit of comparison um, because I have a color swatch of all the polychromos. I'll do it right next to them, pull them out so you can see the difference between the colors. I thought this might be a fun alternative for some people who don't want to pay the money for these. You get a ton of color, different colors in here too. So the polychromo set, I believe, is a hundred, 
Oh gosh, I don't even know. Is it 100 or is it 70? I'd have to look that up. I'll give you that information when I get back to. So I'll see you in a little bit. Well, I guess before I start doing this, I should show you the color range here. I forgot to do that. Again, like I said, they're really flimsy plastic um, uh, trays. There's really nothing much to them. But for the price point, I didn't expect them to be. So we've got a nice selection on the trays of the blues, greens, yellows, and reds on this one. That's tray one. That was kind of pretty. They all say this name on it, and then we just have numbers. So there are no color names. Okay, I'll probably find them somewhere. Tray number two has the red continuing. That's a really pretty pink on the outside, but I noticed that the uh, pencil lead is not the same color, so you want to make sure you swatch these. Really nice selection of greens. Then we have uh, purples and more blues. So purple and blue. Kind of goes purple blue. I don't know what these are, so we're going to have to you know, go through them. We have a little bit more of the greens that are in the brown tones, so the olives. And then a whole bunch of brown colors, which could be awesome. We have the turquoise, and then we have the metallics. So there are 12 metallics which is cool. Got some purple metallics. So it's not just your silver, gold, and bronze. And then we have a whole selection of grays into the dark grays and blacks. And we got our white. Okay, so I'm going to do them in the order that they are when I do the swatching because I am not going to take them out and try to mess with them. But they look pretty good. I mean, I usually would put all these green and blue in this first tray, probably with the green and blues, but I'm just going to go from one side to the other. I'm going to just put them on my um, little chart here and color them out like I did on these, and then we will mm, check them out next to the other ones. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> I've got them all swatched out. So these are the Faber-Castell Polychromos that I have, and these are the South Sun 160 oil-based um, pencils that I just showed you. So I wanted to kind of uh, show you uh, their colors kind of um, just kind of side by side. This is uh, Black Widows, so don't look at that side. But I mean, like the yellows are a nice range of yellows and they kind of go along with the same colors that are over here and then we start in the orange is on this page and of course there's a bunch of blues here too that started off our set this is just the way I told you I was going to do it in the exact order that um, they were in the tin or plastic and then we've got all these uh, orange to red to pinks here and then it goes back into orange for who knows why but I mean the numbers on these are really bizarre too so <laughs> I mean they're not in any order we have some more of the reds which you're gonna find in further along with all the purples and such and greens but I mean they're they're pretty comparable in the brightness of the colors okay that's what I wanted you to kind of look at here are the pinks I mean they're not going to match exactly because they're not uh, the same colors but I mean you can just check them out and see the vibrancy of these then we start in with the purple over here there is a ton of purple if you like purple in this set. <laughs> I mean, there's lots. And then it starts over again in the blues, and then they threw black in here for some reason. But, um, so purple, this kind of reminds me of the black raspberry or the black grape, uh, but there is another one that's even darker in here. But I mean, you've got all your little purples, your purples that go into pinks, your purples that go into the blues, and then you have a turquoise and, um, the purple blues here too. 
So we've got color matching going there a little bit. Um, the blues are on another page. They're back here, I think. There's not as many blues in this set as there are in the polychromos. They do have a little bit more blue. But uh, then we start in greens to browns. So we have some greens here, some in here, and then it goes into brown. They have a beautiful um, olive green here, which is kind of your olive um, brown, I would say, kind of like color. Then you have all your gorgeous browns. And we have a ton of browns in this set. And then the next page, we have some more of the like turquoise blues here and then get into the darker blues and the metallics. So anything with an M on it is a metallic that I could find that, I mean, stood out as a metallic to me. The number sequence for the metallic starts at 150 and goes, or 149 and goes up to I don't know what, but there's supposed to be 12 and I only got, I only counted 10. So, I mean, I'd have to go through this and look a little closer because we've got 4950 and I think I'm missing like 51 and we've got 52 and we got 54 and we got, you know, it, <laughs> 53, 54, do we have a 55, a 50, I don't see a 56, but we got a 57 and 58. So I got to find a 56 uh, and um, whatever the other number was. Should have wrote them down. But <clears throat> like I said, they're not numbered in any kind of sequence. So I would have to go through here. And I just didn't do it before I started filming. So sorry to see if I could find those numbers for you. I don't see them. So maybe this set only came with the uh, 10 in the uh, metallics. They're on the last tray and they're in this order here and then there's one over here. But you can tell the um, paint on the barrels of the pencils are also very shiny. So when you're looking through here like this gray is uh, metallic and there's uh, one over here that is gray metallic. So, But they have different hues. I just don't know where the other ones are, so that's where they are in the back tray here. Anyway, I am very pleased with the um, brightness of the colors. They laid down really smooth. I'll get one of these, uh, I'll just grab the metallic one, because metallics aren't known for being real smooth. And they just lay down really nice. If you get a nice light coverage there and then just go over it again and you'll get a little darker and this is how I did it when I was doing the swatching and then over it again and then pressing really hard here you get the darkest color okay and then if you look at that I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but there's like a little uh, silver in that so it shines it's also a little flaky, or dust, what you call it? Dust on these? Uh, the metallics, because it uh, probably crumbles the silver out of it. But they have a really nice little shine to them. I'm not sure how they'll do in your coloring, but I mean the colors themselves, uh, the metallic purple, the metallic, uh, it's kind of a lavender color. They're gorgeous colors, so I would just kind of add them in and blend them with another one of the colors in here. So that's kind of neat to have those colors. And like I said, there are um, more blues back here and nice dark ones. They put the grays in kind of an odd order. So you have like a warm gray, cold, warm, cold, warm gray. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. And I love this color here, which is your green gray. That's really pretty. So those are the colors of this set. And like I said, if they have a lot of purples, not as many blues as people probably would like, but a lot of purples, a lot of reds. Some of them are really close. So, I mean, I don't know if you needed all of them, but I mean, <laughs> when you get into a 160 set, you're gonna get some that are really close. 
so that is what we got and um, in my next video I will use these on a pitcher. But I just wanted to let you know what I got and uh, I'll leave a link down in the description box if you're interested in these. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'll just leave a link so you know where to look for them. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy these pencils, I think. They, they lay down really nice. So we'll have to color a picture. So I'll do that in my next video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Take care everyone. Bye now.